In this video, I'm gonna share about beginner guide and basic things about Ragnarok and Eternal Love Game. Tips number one is choosing your job class. There are 15 jobs in this game and 6 class that you can choose in the beginning of the game. For beginner, I recommend to choose Hunter, Dagsmith or Durham job. Hunter job is easy job class for beginning game, especially for grinding and leveling. The RAM is nice job because it have many AOA skill that will make you do grinding quickly. And blacksmith is the best job for grinding. You can upgrade it into alchemist to get lot of zeni and do leveling quickly. There are three jobs that I recommend for beginner. In this game, we are able to change your job class. You can change your job if you already reach high level and have a lot of zen. Tips number two is mentor system guide. If your level less than 90, you can be a student and be a mentor after level 90 or more. Find a nice mentor that will help you completing Endless Tower weekly event. If you have high level of friend, you can make him to be your mentor. Ask them to give you adventure guide and guardian scroll every day. Guardian scroll will give you bonus stuff. An adventure guide will increase your XP while grinding until 170%. If your level is 90 or more, you can be a mentor and find active students. You will get great mentor license for every daily or weekly activity of your students. Meteoric Chain and Mentor's Potions is the best redemption choice. Tips number 3 is completing daily and weekly quests. If you are a student, you will get bonus XP and Zeni for every quest that you completing. By completing daily and weekly quests, you will get assistance medal and cover adventure log bonus. You can redeem your assistant medal to many items. But for beginner, gold medal and contributions is the best choice. Tips number 4, get combat time until 240. Your stamina will increase 150 points daily, get 30 bonus combat time by hearing music and 60 bonus by using mentor potion items. In all RO Eternal Love game, daily stamina is 300 but now it's only 150 minutes with double drop. That means developer decrease your grinding time but not decrease your daily income. Tips number 5, increase your character's power. There are three ways to increase your character's power. First thing you need to do daily is to guild donation by doing guild donation. You will get gold medal and contribution. Increase your gold medal and contribution and get a lot of state bonus. By praying card weekly, you can get honor medal in PvV, MVV, battle event and in DVG. Increase your guild blessing and guild prey. Penetrations or magic penetrations is the best choice for your guild blessing. Increase your power by increase headgear's deposit. More handbook's deposit equal to more power. Always buy run pack and skill run. Try to get best skill run for your job class. Tips number 6, Rewind and get the best Mora. Get the best equipment Rewinding, you can do Rewinding, Save Rewinding, 
or buy on exchange. If you buy on exchange, make sure you get the best mora on that equipment. You can get mora or equipment's bonus state at Gavin's cult friend and try to get your best mora. You need mora coin for every enhancement, use your friendship point and redeem to mora coin. To get friendship point, you need to do board quest, ET or reef with party status. Tips number 7. Optimize your pet lover. Get the best pet for every pet lover. An item shop is the best important pet lover. Tips number 8. Lighting chain and meteoric chain. Time is money. With lighting chain, you can decrease your waste time. For 240 CT, you can do with 120 minutes with lighting chain and 60 minutes with meteoric chain. Always change your menthol metal to meteoric chain. And if you want to increase your level faster, redeem your assistant medal honor to pouring growth penancy and get double XP for 1 hour. Tips number 9. Increase your cooking cookbook, potion, and discharge. Satisfied fish is the best food for physical job. An original wild juice is the best food for magical class job. Tips number 10. Potion and element converter. There are 4 element converter that you can use for physical job class. Use offensive element for more damage against monster or MVV monster. You can check monster element on your handbook. Use earth element again, wine element monster, and another offensive element. Use Intelligency Mill for magical job, Dex Mill for range attack job, and Strength Mill for mill attack job. Use Warm Mill for increase your hit point and skills point recovery. Cook zero star dish and eat as much as possible, gaining skill point discharge is very important for grinding. Make sure your skill point discharge is not zero, and enough for away from keyboard grinding. Tips number 10. Pet and Washabi Mercenary Our hero or our baby is the best pet for tanking. It will help you surviving on weekly and killing low-level MVV monster. Wasabi have damage shifting skill that will protect you on weekly event and low level MVV. Tips number 11. Recommended build. You can see build guide on your handbook, but some build is not up to date or not the best choice. I more recommend to see build on YouTube. For example, Tire Treat Tights is the best armor for physical job if you have low budget or less zen. Tips number 12. Honorary Merchant Return your honor medal to gold medal for first priorities, second contributions, third praying card and rhythm to Mora coin for part choice. Tips number 13. Party problem. As a beginner, you will have a problem to completing weekly quests. Try to get nice guild and mentor that will helping you to completing weekly event. If you not have party, I recommend you to find party on seeking party menu. Tips number 14. Card evac and how to one hit your monster target. First thing you must do is Knowing your target monster element, race, and size. 
After that, buy on exchange a card that will increase your damage against your target monster. Physical attack affected by card size element and race and magical only affected by race card. Tips number 15. 3 character always better than 1 character. Make 1 main character and 2 alternative character. Try to win them. If you don't have much time like me, at least do pet adventure every day. Tips number 16. Changing channel. There are two ways to changing your channel. Every player must knowing this. You can change your channel on Islot Island. Otherwise, following your party. There are many tricks that we could do with this. I will share it next time. See you on the next video. Thank you and terima kasih.